Have you come out from the examination hall thinking and wondering whatever I solved some time back, is it correct? Is my answer right or did I make a mistake? And I'm sure even you must have felt the same when you finished your math paper today. And if you're still wondering what is the answer for those questions, check out the whole video because I'm about to solve the entire paper for you. Let's roll the intro. This paper is of uh, 2020 uh, May paper of Goa Board SSC examination math paper and the first question on that is if x is equal to 1 and y equals to 1 is the solution of ax plus 3y is equal to 7 and x plus by is equal to 4 then the value of a plus b is dash there are four options for it and the correct answer when you substitute x as 1 and y as 1 in those equations you get a is equal to 4 b is equal to 3 and when you add them a plus b is equal to 7 the next question is write down the condition for which of the following pair of linear equation will have infinitely many solution and find the value of k your equations are 2x plus 5y equals to 9 and the second one is 4x plus ignore that uh, k plus 1y equals to 18 so if you want these two marks then you have to write the general condition in respect to a1 upon a2 b1 upon b2 equals to c1 upon c2 in that form then you will have to write it in with respect to the equation that is given to you so once you solve that uh, you will get a one mark for it and the other mark will be to find out the value of k which is a, you get it in the end like 18 upon 2 which is equal to 9 so if you have done this then you get another two marks the next one is elimination method and cross multiplication method two uh, set of problems are given here to solve any one and uh, correct answer for uh, elimination method is x is equal to 1 y equals to 2 and for cross multiplication it is x is equal to 7 and y equals to minus 1 last question of question 1 is question 1d which is a word problem this time there was no graph asked in this exam and there was a word problem instead of that of four marks simple problem and the question was the present age of mother is three years more than thrice the present age of her daughter three years hence the mother's age will be 10 years more than twice the age of her daughter find their present ages uh, simple problem if you have not watched my videos with regards to linear equations of two variables I'll Put the link in the description box or over here in that card which is there you can see it right now so watch them i have done a number of problems similar to these kind where we have to find out the age problem so what problems are done check out the video and correct answer for this problem is uh, daughter's age is 10 and mother's age is 33 let's go ahead and solve question number two uh, it is the product of two numbers is 480 and their HCF is 12 therefore their LCM is dash all you have to do is divide 480 divided by 12 and you get your answer which is coming to be uh, 40 the next question is uh, Attempt the following the sum and the product of zeros of a quadratic polynomial in x are 3 and minus 4 find the quadratic polynomial 
simple you just have to write down the formula that is x square minus sum of zeros x plus product of zeros and substitute the value and you get the polynomial to be x square minus 3x minus 4 the second part of that question if you have done this then you get one mark the second part of that problem is find the product of zeros of a quadratic polynomial 9x square minus 29x plus 6 and you just have to put the product of 0 is c upon a which is 6 upon 9 and after cancelling you get it as 2 upon 3 uh, I'm going a bit quick over here ignore that I'm going a bit quick over here is because uh, I'm not actually solving the entire paper but uh, giving you just the idea of what are the correct answers for the problem this is for all those students uh, who have answered their exam and just want to you know check out which is the right answer for their problem that they have solved uh, and if at all you are someone who has uh, attempting to learn all these problems then this would be uh, just uh, you know the answer key for those problems I whenever I'm teaching a part of these problems I will especially take these questions and solve them but right now it is just as an answer key so that's the reason I'm a bit quick I don't want you to entirely you know if you're practicing then fair enough you can get the answers over there so this is in view of that this video uh, the next question C question is find the quotient and remainder when the polynomial 3x cube plus x square plus 2x plus 5 is divided by a polynomial x square plus 2x minus 1 now here the divisor is of three terms so it makes the problem much more simpler uh, to divide so after dividing what you will get is your quotient will be 3x minus 5 and your remainder will be 15x all you have to do after that is write it in Euclid's uh, division algorithm that is d is equal to d multiplied by q plus r and substitute all the values that you have got that's it so if you have done that then simple problem will give you three marks i hope this part is clear 2d is to prove that root 3 is irrational uh, video will be there in the description box there's nothing to discuss in this straight away the answer is you already know you just have to prove that uh, question 3a if uh, probability of an event is 0 0.03 then probability of not an event is dash and the answer is all you have to do is 1 minus whatever the probability is given to you so it comes up to be 0 0.97 next one is a card is drawn from a well shuffled deck of 52 playing cards Find the probability that the card drawn is a black king and simple uh, in, in the entire pack there are four kings in total out of which two are black so two upon 52 that's the probability and uh, the next part the second part is not a diamond card so if you're when I'm saying not a diamond that means the clubs the hearts and uh, the spades so all these cards should be considered uh, okay and uh, you're not considering the diamond so total of these three suits comes up to be 39 so 39 divided by 52 after cancelling will be 3 upon 4 and the probability of the king was 2 upon 52 which comes out to be 1 upon 26 yes okay uh, so if you have written the formulas for this then only you will get your two marks otherwise you won't so I hope just when you're checking the entire answer paper please go ahead and Think about this point that whether you have written the formula or no if you have directly written the answer students most of the times uh, make a mistake you know or forget 
to write down the uh, formula so if you have made that mistake then you will lose half mark and half mark so total one mark will be lost question 3c is to find out the roots of a quadratic equation and the question is uh, 3x square minus 7x minus 6 equals to 0 this you have to solve it by factorization method and the answer comes or the roots come up to be uh, one is 3 and the other one is minus 2 upon 3 and if you have solved the second problem for any one but if you have solved the second one for quadratic formula then the answer is uh, one second. It is three upon two and one upon four. The next D question is a word problem. The sum of two natural numbers is sixty, and the sum of their reciprocals is three upon forty. Find the two natural numbers. Simple problem. All you had to do was uh, say you know let one number be x then it will be x plus the second number is equal to 60 so taking the x on the other side it will become 60 minus x so that will become your second natural number so and reciprocals of them that means all i have to do is write it as 1 upon x so 1 upon x plus 1 upon 60 minus x is equal to 3 upon 40 and then it is pure mathematics of just cross multiplying and calculating and the answer for this question uh, comes up to be one natural number is 40 and the other one is 20. Question 4a select and write the most appropriate alternate from those given in the bracket. So uh, this is about uh, the arithmetic progression and you have to find out the common difference uh, the series is a bit you know when you look at it, it looks a little complicated type uh, but all you have to do is follow the same procedure so uh, 5 plus 2 root 3 minus 5 plus root 3 when you do that your answer that you get is root 3 uh, if I'm not mistaken yes root 3 that's that's it so if you have taken or marked root 3 the C option that you will get your one mark. Calculation is not required here, it's just plain answer. Uh, B question is uh, solving its statistics and solving the entire table by a direct method. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, by direct method and all you had to do was calculate x I, that is class mark so the method that I follow is uh, upper limit minus the lower limit divided by 2 the answer added to all the lower limits you get your class mark so uh, 50 minus 40 will be 10 10 divided by 2 will be 5 and 5 will be added to all the lower limits so 40 plus 5 will become 45 55 65 75 85 95 so that would be the entire class mark. Uh, fi, xi is nothing but first one is 225, 440, 910, uh, 1200, 850, and 665. The total of all these numbers uh, comes to 4290 and the number of workers summation fi comes up to be 60 so it's direct method so just division of these two and that comes to be 4290 divided by 60 that is 71.5 so if you have done the entire table properly you have to rewrite the table and use the formula and calculate it then you straight up get your three marks and I'm sure you must have caught them uh, next question is arithmetic progression it's a word problem and a man saves uh, 16,510 years in each year after the year after the first year he saves hundred more than he did in the preceding year find the amount saved in the first year and the last year so you just have to find out a that's the first one and a 10 that is the 10th year amount okay problem goes simple what 
is told to you is 16,500 is what he saves, which means that is the value of SN uh, for 10 years. So N is 10, D is 100 because 100 keeps increasing. And when you put this in the formula of SN, your value of A comes up to be uh, 1200 and value of A10 that is the last term that or the last year that he will save will come up to be 2100. Uh, D question is uh, one second. Okay, D question is about the OGIF curves and simple it is OGIF of uh, is it, uh, is more than type. So more than type is uh, more more of giving so you have to minus so start adding from the denominator or for the lowest number and the cumulative frequency will come up to be uh, 30 26 20 10 and 2 once you get this all you have to do is uh, with the low limits of the class interval that is more than 0 more than 20 more than 40 more than 60 and more than 80 Take all these values and straight away plot it on a graph paper and you get your three marks okay and uh, with this i will end this video right here uh, i have solved half of the entire 80 mark paper that's question till question 4 d uh, the remaining will be in the part 2 video of this uh, question paper solving Till then if you like my work and if you enjoyed paper solving then please go ahead hit the like button share the video with your friends so that they also can check whether whatever they have solved is correct or no uh, till then this is Joel saying bye to you take care and bye bye